look at this thing, though, bro. <laughs> you know I hate sheep. For those of you who live in the shadow realm, aka anywhere that's not America, sheep are people who follow what everyone else does. And kids are a great example of this. They all want the same thing. It's always, oh, feed me. Oh, show me basic love. Keep me safe. Like, damn, have your own thoughts, little nigga. Yo, grown man, for God's sakes. Which is why I was never really a fan of heroes growing up. While everyone was playing with their Superman action figures and their Batman butt plugs, I always liked the villains. I always looked up to the bad guys. The real <laughs> evil ones like hit well not him but somebody like him like joker or the irs you know the worst of the worst the heroes were always corny to me because they always reminded me of my potential to be a decent human being and that just didn't sit right with me like why help an old lady across the street when i can just you know not but villains on the other hand oh those villains they feed into your greed your selfishness your compulsive need to lie about little shit so basically your inner politician and i love that because back in the day well even now i dodge accountability like it was a world war three draft can't risk becoming too self-aware you know i might just fuck around and feel bad for my action so my goal today is to bring you to the light side to show you why these so-called heroes are nothing but dildos and costumes let's start with our eccentric billionaire batman the dog prostitute this nigga is literally a glorified football player he put his life and body at risk every night for some clout and fame and i already know all the batman fanboys are gonna be saying but it's to save gotham bro Anybody with a double digit IQ can tell Gotham is the Brazil of comics. There's no saving it. The best course of action is to blow it up and start a new one. And try not to have so many dark alleys this time. No wonder why Batman always come home limping after these quote unquote fights. Joker probably this nigga sneaky link. Well, Batman. Basically, you messed up. Speaking of clowns, what's up with this nigga's outfit, bro? He look like a male stripper with a troubled past. Let me shake this ass for Gotham, looking ass. Why his drawers always on the outside of his pants? I think Batman might be the first mentally troubled superhero. This nigga came in dress himself, bro. I don't even know how this nigga classifies as a hero. He's more of a dominatrix, if anything, bro. This nigga have so many opportunities to kill these villains, but he decides to beat them within an inch of their lives. I think that's how Batman get his rocks off. After all these years of fighting crime, it's, it's the only thing I could get it up anymore. And not to mention, this nigga is a pervert, bro. His little sidekick, Robin, the boy Wonder, the only thing this nigga's wondering is where his virginity went after Batman brought him back to that shady ass cave. Something's in my ass. Next hero, Captain America. This nigga is nothing but a junkie. This nigga was the size of Soldier Boy until he got injected with a needle. Then he got swole. Only difference between him and a baseball player is that he's here legally. And not to mention, this nigga is a racist. You might ask, Jojo, how do you know? I have my evidence right here, nigga. He was born in black and white America, blonde hair, blue eyes, and he's a white male. Hey, I'm no historian, but I'm just saying, if he was German, he will be working for a small man with a funny mustache. But since y'all know I'm not biased, I will admit this nigga costume is fire. Until until you get to the head, why is everything covered except his mouth? Easy access question mark? Next quote unquote hero. This nigga is the janitor of DC Comics, the Joe Biden of superheroes, and that's Aquaman. If Useless was a person, it would be this nigga right here. Quite frankly, I don't know how this nigga's still alive. If I was as useless as this nigga, I would have drawn myself by now. And you can just tell this nigga was a diversity hire, bro. The most useful thing this nigga could do is bring some fresh sushi. Fresh sushi. Ah, fuck this shit. Fresh sushi. I mean, if you're gonna be the king of the ocean, at least get some mermaid pussy. This nigga is the flea market version of Poseidon, bro. And I'm convinced this nigga know what a dolphin blowhole feels like, if you know what I mean. The ocean is probably swarming with half dolphin, half idiots babies running around. Not to mention, this nigga weakness is a lack of water, bro. If you put him in Africa, this nigga's done. Next heroes, I'm gonna speed run these because if not, I'm gonna sit here all day like coming to virgin's balls. The Flash, if I wanna beat you, I just put a banana pill on the floor, my nigga. Green Lantern, your weakness is the color yellow. Caillou could beat your ass. Hawk, a glorified sped. Spider-Man, friends and family. Pfft, look at this idiot caring about his loved ones. What do you see in him, babe? Fuck. Bat bloke, yeah, I'm on that ass again, boy. Your weakness is not having technology. If I unplug that router, you're fucked. Black Panther, he's AFK. Wonder Woman, I mean, come on, guys, she's you know, a woman. 